you are running a business if so you should not waste your time on purchasing the products that are completely available for rent or cheaper rates it is increasing the need of rental product these days you can rent clothes for functions furniture and automobiles and completely rely on the products that are available for rent in this video we will be discussing about how to manage rental products in odo 60 when you get into the rental module here you can see uh, all the details regarding the rental now let's go to the products and here this shows the product that are under rentals so when you choose one of the products you can see uh, as we have installed the module rented rental you will get an option of can be rented and if you enable that field you can set that product for renting and the service type of the product is set to as service and the invoicing policy is ordered quantity the sales price is set to as 150 you can also uh, set the product category as all rented so which is mandatory you have to set uh, so after that uh, we can manage the rental inquiries uh, through the website so whenever a customer need to inquire something he can uh, make an inquiry through the website so for that you just get into the website module so let's get into website module and you can see a form is here and uh, when you click on edit here you can uh, click on customize and you will be i mean you can choose any of the block in order to customize so let me click on submit and you can see uh, we can customize each of the block so here uh, for the submit button we have set the action as create an opportunity Now let me uh, save all other changes and let's make an inquiry. So here you can set uh, the name of the uh, um, yeah who makes the inquiry. So I'm setting the name as Samuel and all other details. And you can also give the subject and the question. So uh, the inquiry or the opportunity will be creating in the name of the subject of the inquiry. so you can also make a question like what will be the extra uh, cost for renting okay so you can also make question after that you can click on submit so as you submit uh, the inquiry under the crm module an inquiry will be i mean an opportunity will be generated you can remove the filtration pipeline and when you drag down here you can see uh, the every other details like a uh, price for uh, renting meeting room and let me choose that and here you can also see the probability which means the uh, chance of uh, getting that and you can also view the uh, similar lead now when you click on rental a uh, new rental here you can also uh, do a few things like you can either create a new customer or link this customer to the existing one or you uh, not need to create a customer and uh you can also uh, create the customer to a particular company and let me set it as a uh, create a new customer so if i'm uh, setting it as create a new customer i can directly create a new customer if you're setting it as link to an existing customer then that customer will, will be belonging to a particular company and you can also mention that company so currently i'm using create a new customer and you can just confirm this so as you uh, confirm the rental here you can see a sale order will be created in the uh, customer name and the company name will be also given there now under the order lines you can choose the product so let me choose a product uh, by filtering the product that can be rented so here you can see uh, the product that can be rented and uh, yeah here the dates are available so in this day we um, uh, yeah the product is available and uh, we are we are only demanding for one quantity and here you can see the unit price as well as uh, the cost for one week of renting and if we take a extra hours then we need to make a payment of $20 for extra hours or $200 per day after that you can just click on add and uh, yeah let me confirm the order and when you confirm the order here you can see the order is currently confirmed and uh, the status can be viewed now uh, 
here we have a button called pickup. So you can click on the pickup button when the product is ready to be delivered to the customer and a pop-up window will appear to validate the pickup after the product is delivered. Now you can click on validate and you can now see the status can be viewed as pickup which means that the product is delivered to the customer when the uh, customer returns the product, the product after the rental period. Okay, now let's back uh, to the rental module and when you back to the rental module here you can see all the rentals and uh, we can see the rental uh, and we can also create an invoice for this so in order to generate an invoice you can just click on create invoice and we are creating a regular invoice and you can make payment for this so let me confirm the invoice and register the payment you can see the journal that we are using the payment method and the amount and the payment date and all so let me create payment uh, and after reconciliation uh, the payment will be moving to the bank and you can also see the sales order that is associated with this so after the rental period you can return the product so uh, you can also uh, do that so if you want to return the product you can just click on return and you can see uh, yeah currently we are taking a service of meeting room so once you have uh, taken your service uh, you can see that i mean you can uh, return that room or service so just click on validate so that the service is returned and you can see uh, the status will be updated as return. Rental management would effectively manage your time and money. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome.